Trey, given how your season ended last year, how excited are you to get back out there on Saturday and just get going again? Shoot, I'm very excited, man. It's a blessing. Blessing to finally get back get, get back at it. Are you tired of talking about it? Everybody's asking how you're feeling. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm tired of talking, talking about it. It's just, I'm ready to go play, to be honest. Trey, you, you talked pretty publicly about the goals that you set for yourself as a freshman. You didn't tell us what the goals were. Did you uh, reevaluate that? And do you have goals set for your junior year? Uh, yeah, I definitely, I definitely got goals, but I just leave it all up to God, man. I just pray that everything, everything go as planned. But I just, I just leave it all up to Him now. You, uh, you came in with Kyle, and now he uh, is going to start from the beginning. What does that mean uh, to you as a classmate to see him happen? Shoot, man, I'm, I'm excited for him, man. I'm excited to see him do his thing, man. He's been putting in a lot of work. He stayed patient, man. Learned and grew, and you know? yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to get to play beside him, man. Didn't do much out of the backfield last year, uh, as far as the passing game. So, you guys want to What's it like to play like that? Shoot, man, it feels great to get back into get back out into space, man. That's what that's where I'm most dangerous at is out, out in space. So, it, it feels good that we're you know doing that more in our offense now and getting, getting us out into space. So, we know how many. I mean, five running backs you could all play. Yeah. This, this team, what's it been like watching that game grow really since January now? Shoot, it's great, man. We're we're all great competitors, and we're all dangerous. Like, each of us can do a lot of great things. So, man, it's, it's just been fun, you know, being able to compete with them every day, practice alongside them, and just grow that relationship and that bond. Man, we're so tight and close, man. It's, yeah. What's it been like to see having trying to get healthy? Shoot, man, I'm, I'm excited for my dog, man. He, he's been working, man. He's been working, and it's been it's been tough for him, but he's he's pushed through it, man, and handled it very very well. You describe your level of anticipation after last year. Shoot, I wanted to rush it a little bit, man. But I just had to make sure, man. I I just take care of myself, man, and do do what was do what I needed to do to be able to get back on that field and be at 100 percent in the game. So I'm just glad I had the right support team around me that just held me back and allowed me to, you know, stick to the plan, stick to the plan. I'm, I thank God just for helping me get through, helping me get healthy. And, how good do you feel right now? How good do you feel right now? Shoot, I feel great. I feel great, man. I'm, I'm ready to go. I feel good. Okay, there was a lot said about you last year. You used anything that was said about you last year as, as motivation, especially this week, now that you're finally back and healthy, you can show people what you can do again. Nah, it, it don't really matter what people say because, shoot, they, they don't know what's going on. And I, at the end of the day, I know I know who I am. So what's said on the outside don't really faze me. I don't really pay attention to it. I try not to see it. But for some reason, sometimes it pops up on my for you page. But at the end of the day, it don't it don't phase me at all. So I know who I am. Other than good health and, and your experience now like being a junior, how do you feel like you're better? Like, as opposed to your freshman year. You were really good as a freshman. How are you better now? Sure. Man, I just I just been working hard. You know, I just been working hard. And I feel like I feel like I'm better than I was before. Each year I just try to get better and better and better and sharpen the tools. Sharpen each and every tools of my game and even learn more tools and put that as part of my game too. So every year I'm just trying to get better and better. So we'll see. We'll see Saturday. See you Saturday. I know you can't give away any secrets, but is the offense more diverse this year? Is there like some new some new tricks? I know you can't get specific, but yeah. like is there like Shoot, each year we always got some stuff cooking up, man. We always got some stuff cooking up, but yeah. The, yeah, that's that's all I can say. We always got some stuff cooking up. Describe Kyle, both as a quarterback and as a leader. Shoot, Kyle's a great leader, man. He he, he always get us going, man. Make sure make sure we're on point, make sure everyone is on point, man. He's just he's so relaxed back there, so relaxed and calm. You know, he's never Chew out of out of whack, out of control, man. He's so calm when things are not going the right way, and just making sure we're all calm too. Hey Trey, how often have you thought about this week? Once you, you shut it down, about you had to shut it down last November. How often over the, the time from then to now have you been thinking about this week and this this game? Sure, yeah. I've been. I just been looking back a lot, man. It's just like, cause I ain't even play in the Indiana game last year, so I just been looking back a lot. Like, dang, like. It's finally here. Like I finally get to go on the football field again, man, and be able to play, be able, be able to play alongside my teammates, man. It's just, it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing. Do you feel like you have to remind people who you are? No, nah, I don't got to remind anybody. I don't got to prove anything. Nobody but myself. That's what I feel like. Do you think you 
took anything from last year? Maybe it's the appreciation of being able, able to play, but what did you take out of last year dealing with all that? Shoot, man, just trying to control the only control the things I can control. Like I couldn't control my 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 injury, so just trying to control the things I can control, and that's just being a great teammate, man. Being being a great person, and that's what that's what I just tried to focus on, man. Is just being here for my teammates and making sure they're lifted and doing what they needed to do. Do you think that ultimately makes you better in the long run? Yes, it, de it definitely do, man. It definitely do. What do you remember about watching? Shoot, I think I watched mine. Shoot, mine went off first half. I think I, I watched that mine. Mine, mine went off first half. That's that's what I remember. So. Didn't know if you had any memories like watching them on TV. Nah, 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 man. I was I was excited for my teammates at the time. I think I was practicing. I was trying to practice that week, but I couldn't. And then like up to up to later that week. I just decided I couldn't I couldn't do it. I didn't have the strength to do it. So I set out. But I was just excited to be there for my teammates and see them see them shine. Like this offense has some questions, but also obviously a lot of talent. What do you envision for this offense? I think I think we're gonna be great. You know, I think we're gonna be great. Um I don't know the questions of the offense that's well quarterback and offensive line. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I think everything's gonna be great, man. I think, I think, like I said, we'll see Saturday. We've been, we've all been putting in the work, you know, preparing up to this Saturday, and I think, I think we're ready. Play obviously behind this offensive line now. Uh, like Josh and Josh, and Josh and Carson. How's it come together? What would you describe the line? You know, it's they're they're a good group, man. They're they're a good group all line, man. They're shoot, they they take care of business up front. They all do, man. They're serious about what they do. And man, I think I, I'm just excited to run behind them, run behind them Saturday. Did you see growth at the offensive line throughout camp? Like, did you notice them getting better? As was it easier for you to run the longer camp went on? Sure, I ain't gonna lie. As soon as I got back, them boys was taking care of business, man. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, as soon as I got back, they was already taking care of business. I just think during the off season they built that bond. They put in a lot of work together behind the scenes during the off season. And so like once. Once it came fall camp time, like them, them boys is ready to go. So, so Coach Day obviously doesn't want to tell the media about injuries because that would alert the opponent about injuries. How frustrating is it for you though? Like you're dealing with an injury, you don't want to let the opponent know, and fans don't know what's going on. Like last year, you're dealing with a broken foot. Nobody knew that. Yeah. How frustrating was that for you, Trey? It was kind of frustrating for me last year, just because. Mm. That's a good question. Yeah, it was it was just kind of frustrating for me last year. I just went through a lot of emotions and just trying to go out there and just it was just rumor going, oh, uh, he's going through this again. No, he's going through this, he's going through this. When I was really just dealing with one injury this whole time. And so it was just frustrating. But at the end of the day, it, it is what it is. Like that's just how it is. Like people just look from the outside and they don't know what's going on. So it just is what it is. It's gotta be tough to be like guys, I've got a broken foot, but you can't say that because you yeah. don't want like your opponents to know that. E exactly, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, like I said, man, it is what it is. I under now that I've grown, like I kind of understand why they why they do why they why they do what they do. So I'm able to understand that now that I've grown and mature. But at the time, like I didn't understand. I'm just going through this injury. I'm going through so much emotion. Like it's just people are like, is he soft or whatever? You're like, no. Yeah, no, nah, I'm far. I'm far from soft. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> So if I was you, soft, I wouldn't have played exactly. the, the games I played in. So, so how did going through all that, just from a mental perspective, how did that change you? How did it make you better? Shoot, made me better from a mental perspective. It's just when I, when I started getting to my faith, that that's what really helped help my mental, and just helped me become a better version of myself. You know. So. What's the one thing that's most important for you as a running back? I feel like a lot of things is most improved for me. I feel like where, where I'm at now is where where I'm most comfortable, where I'm at, where I'm at now. I'm just glad I've been through what I've been through because it made me the, I feel like it made me the person I am today, it made me the running back I am today. So I'm just glad I've been through what I've been through. Like I said, this is probably one of the the hardest I've, I've ever worked this year. And, you know, I just got to stay consistent, keep going and just stacking days each and every day. Each and every day is going to be a battle. Yeah, I mean, the athleticism, we've seen that. 
this point, I think everybody knows you have a home run hitter. Has maybe your understanding of you know, reading holes as like the mental part of being a runner, like maybe where are you at with that? Yeah, it just, I feel like that just comes with practice and preparation. If you don't practice, I mean, there's definitely, you're definitely not going to know what I'm doing. I feel like last year, I didn't have that practice. I didn't have that preparation I needed to be able to actually go out there and do what I do. So each and every time I went out there, it's just like, oh, I'm trying to be Trevion Henderson again. I'm trying to go hit that home run. So, but I never, should I practice probably about once. I probably got through like one practice a week in the games I played in last year after I, once I got injured. So I never really had that practice and preparation going in. I just wasn't confident. And if I wasn't confident in what I was doing and just, man, you don't want to go into a football game and you're just thinking, you got so much on your mind, you're not confident. You want to do that. So I understand just going through last year, I was able to understand the, the importance of practice and preparation. So every chance I get, every rep I get, I just try to give it my all. And I try to, I just try to focus on each, winning each rep and treated each rep like a game. I, I've always been, but just last year I wasn't able to because of what I was dealing with. That, I'm trying to be Travion Henderson on every single play. You're trying to hit the home run on every single play. And yeah. I mean, you got here in high school, you were hitting the home run on every single play, and it was kind of easy for a while there. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that you have to be okay with taking five yards. And yeah. Have you learned a little bit of level of patience and not know, feeling like every time I touch the ball it has to be 50 yards? Yeah, no, I definitely... I definitely, you learned that as a running back, and I felt like I, I always knew that. It was just like so much pressure. Just after that injury, I felt like my first, before my injury, like I was just, I was doing real good. And then after that injury, you know, it was just, I, I just felt like so much pressure just from like my teammates, my, my coaches, just like, dang, like, all right, I'm going, like, I, I gotta go. So, and I just, I just felt that pressure, man. I just, it kind of just messed me up in those, in, in, certain games where I just should have stayed. Well, first of all, I should have, if, if I didn't practice, I should never play. But yeah, I just let the let the pressure get to me a lot last season. But I just, I just it's so much I learned from last season. I'm just focused on this season. I'm, I'm ready for Indiana, focused on this season. Trey, That's a great question though. Last two questions. Ask Coach Day about this yesterday. I just want your perspective. You know, two years ago, you opened with Minnesota. It's a yeah. big game, right? Um, last year, you opened with Notre Dame. It's a really big game. Yeah, you, you got a chance to play a, a conference opponent right out of the gate. Are, are you like actively thinking about some of the things you learned about playing a big game? You know, not against a smaller school. It's a, it's a power five conference opponent. Yeah. You thinking about any of the things that you learned the last couple of years as you prep for this week? No, I try to. Every week, I try to prep the same. I try to treat it as every every game is an important game. Shoot, at, here at Ohio State, we can't lose any games. So every game, man, you you got to bring your A game. So I just try to try to just prep every week the same, treat every week the same, man, and just work hard and each and every rep, like take advantage of every rep because you you never know when that rep is going to come up in the game. So, man, every every rep I treat it like, I try to treat it like a game rep. Travian, I've been Last telling question. everybody, I've been telling everybody what stands out the few times I've seen you is you got your wiggle back. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. the euphemism, you know what I mean? Do you feel that way too? I mean, to, compared to the, the way you had to, Come out, come on and off the field last year and stuff, and finally the surgery. You feel like you've got your wiggle back. Sure, we'll see Saturday. We'll see Saturday. Yeah, yeah. that's it. That's it. We'll see Saturday. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thanks, Chuck. Uh, yep, thank y'all.